Shalom, Shalom. Before I get started, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the God of Israel, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS. Much respect to my fellow laborers preaching the gospel and those who believe on the gospel. It's your brother Pariah coming back with another quick lesson called Israel will be beautified again. But Lord willing, it's edifying. And I'm going to start off in Ezekiel, the 16th chapter. Going to show how the Lord beautified us back in the ancient world. All right, ancient times, thousands of years ago. So, uh, in order for Him to do it again, He had to, uh, well, you know, it had to happen already. So, without further ado, this is Ezekiel 16 and verse 10. I clothed thee also with broidered work. That word broidered, uh, broidered means a uh, variegation of color or diverse colors. So, our garments back in the ancient world were real colorful. And it says, and showed thee with badger skin, and I girded you about with fine linen, and covered you with silk. All right, the fabrics that we had in uh, the ancient world that we wore, you know, with our clothes and shit, and uh, you know, the material, you know, of our clothes were, were top of the line, man. <clears throat> the Lord had us looking right. Ezekiel 16 and 11, I decked thee also with ornaments. And put bracelets upon thy hands and a chain on thy neck. And I put a jewel on your forehead and earrings in your ears. And a beautiful crown upon your head. Thus was thou decked with gold and silver. Or that word deck means to decorate. Right now, the word decorate means to, um, uh, just get the definition. It says to make something. And, and that's something is the Israelites. It says, look more attractive by adding extra accessories to it. So the Lord put jewelry on this man back in the ancient world. And your raiment was of fine linen and silk embroidered work. Thou didst eat fine flour and honey and oil. So our, our uh, diets went all the way, uh, went fucked up like it is now. You, know, you ain't eating no damn GMOs or some goddamn uh, chips or some crazy shit. You know what I mean? I'm drinking a damn Fago. <laughs> this is, um, we had a good diet, you know. It says, uh, and thou was exceeding beautiful and did prosper into a king. That's starting with uh, King Saul. Ezekiel uh, 16 and 14, and your renown went forth among the heathen for your beauty, for it was perfect through my comeliness, which I had put on you, said the Lord Power. This is the uh, 14th verse in NLT. It said, Your fame soon spread throughout the world because of your beauty. I dressed you, it says, I dressed you in my splendor and perfected your beauty, says the sovereign Lord, to help us know shy. This is uh, Psalms 50 and 2. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, the most high have shine. And you was well known, man, throughout the earth because. So you have by Shemel Shai, you know, spoiled us, you know, and had us uh, looking good and attractive, you know, beautiful, gorgeous. And the Israelites uh, are his sons and daughters, you know, the seed of Jacob. They are uh, their gods, celestial gods, angels in human bodies, a nation above all nations, you know. Um, you know, a people that the Most High have chosen, you know, which is the light of the world. The city that is set on a hill, right? You know, we, uh, this light is basically the representation of the most high on earth to these heathen nations. You know, uh, Zion means memorial. It's supposed to be a, a physical reminder to uh, other people of the, uh, of, uh, the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai's existence, you know. But Jake profaned his holy name and ruined uh, his reputation by being wicked and evil, man. Especially uh, idol worshiping. You know, um, doing all type of uh, stupid shit, you know, breaking his uh, commandments, you know. So anyways, we got punished for it, you know, with the curses. But soon the curse is going to get lifted. And what we just read in the scriptures in Ezekiel is going to come back again, you know, once more on a grander scale uh, in the kingdom of heaven, man. Because Israel is about to be glorified and perfected in righteousness and physical appearance as well, you know. All through this uh, new covenant that the Lord about to establish with our people, 
Yahweh, you have by Shemel Shai, and you have the Father, you have through his son, you have Shai about to give his chosen people new bodies, you know, starting with the elect remnant. So we will, we will no longer be in these uh, uh, earthly tabernacles, man. We'll be in the tabernacle uh, from in the heavens. All right, and we're going to look like uh, the angels. Yeah, we're going to look like our father and, uh, you know, Yahweh Shai and the angels. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 49. And as we have borne the image of the earthy, we saw uh, we shall also bear the image of the heaven. And so just as the Israelites, you know, uh, uh, came into these human bodies, you know, these human bodies won't be, uh, you know, we won't have these human bodies for long. We're going to bear the image of the heaven. We're going to look like those uh, angels, you know. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In the moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. Right, our bodies will be transformed like unto Yahweh Shah's Lord's body. You know. And uh what's good to say what what uh, when he when he shall appear, uh what was that scripture? I think it's first John three. Let me just grab it. First John. Uh Verse 2, Beloved, now are we the sons of the Most High, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, meaning Yahweh Shai, come back, when the Messiah, who they call uh, Jesus Christ, make his second return, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And he ain't going to come back as no damn white boy. Right? He's a uh, so-called dark-skinned man from the tribe of Judah. He's an Israelite. You know, we look just like the Heavenly Father, and we're going to look just like Yahweh Shah. Right? So, um, you know, all of Israel, you know, starting with the elect, will be uh, an extremely beautiful and attractive people, you know, plus 100% righteous with the commandments and laws of the Most High within us. It's Isaiah 62 and 12. Behold, the Lord Yahweh hath proclaimed unto the end of the world. Say ye to the daughter of Zion, Behold, your salvation cometh. Behold, his reward is with him and his work before him. When our salvation is nearer than we believe, it's very close because the signs, uh, aka the prophecies, are coming to pass, man. He said, When we shall see these things come to pass, then lift up your heads, you know, for your redemption draweth not with the paraphrasing. So, a remnant of Israel is about to get saved out of uh, the last captivity that we'll ever have to endure All right and after that uh, the Lord is gonna put us up on the high pedestal you know but right now for some of the you know two and one we that nation not desire for soon come you know, everybody gonna flock to the Israelites man you know in the kingdom of heaven and the other nations gonna want to be like us you know with their royal dark color you know they gonna want their hair like ours the way we dress, the way we dance, the lingo, you know, everything. And this is a future prophecy of uh, of that renown coming back. This is up in 3 and 19. Behold, at that, that, uh, behold, at that time, it's like I got a little tongue tied. Behold, at that time, I will undo all that afflict you. All right, so his son, Yahweh Shah, going to put his people on top and put everybody else on the bottom, right? He says, and I will save her that halted and gather her that was driven out. Yeah, his son Yahweh Shah gonna save the elect uh, Israelites that were scattered throughout the earth. And it says, I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. And we put to shame now, man. You know, we fucked up under the curses. We're an astonish uh, astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations. You know, but Yahweh Shah gonna change that. The curses will be uh, transferred, uh, transferred from us Israelites to uh, to them, all right, the heathen nations. 
And these heathen will be slaves under all subjection, you know. Because he that overcome to him will I like, give power over the nations. He shall rule them with a rod of iron. So the, the uh, this like some of the kingdom of heaven going to uh, beat these damn uh, other Gentile heathen nations uh, in subjection, man. It's going to be a rigorous and a tough rulership. It's going to be real strict. And the first shall be last and the last shall be first. These uh, natural Gentiles, you know, bad perspective of us will turn into uh, great respect, uh, fear, and admiration. To Zephaniah 3 and 20, at that time I will bring you again, even in the time that I gather you, for I will make you a praise and a name. I will make you a name and praise, my bad, among all people of the earth. When I turn back your captivity before your eyes, say if you help I should know shy. Amen. Salvation is coming. And our power is about to raise up. You know, the true biblical Israelites, not those um those Amalekites that's claiming to be Jews and are not. But are the synagogue of Satan that's over there in the land of Israel today. The uh those who <laughs> We were given that land in 1948 by the Belfort Declaration. You know, the small hats. But yeah, the Lord, the true Israelites are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Right, and we're gonna get changed. We won't look the same no more. You know, uh, the elect that is, first and foremost. And we'll be uh, beautified again, man. We'll be beautiful inside and out. Now, and that, uh, that fame we had in the ancient world was shortly return and be revealed for the whole world to see, you know. The scriptures tell you um, in Baruch 5 and 3, he will show our brightness unto every country under heaven. And also in Isaiah 61, it said, the Gentiles shall see your righteousness and all kings your glory, you know. So if you want part in this, man, repent and turn from ungodliness, you know, believe the gospel for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So yeah, man, that's all I got. I just want to do a little quick lesson. Lord, when this edifying to next time, shall the